Hello everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. So we're basically at the end of the game. I have a feeling we're about to crush this game hard. Like, listen, we beat the bonus dungeon boss. I think it's just over. Welcome to Parameter. Like, what, what possible challenge could they have after I got the Sheriff's Badge? I think the game is over. <laughs> I was given enough money to get all the upgrades, beating all the bonus bosses. I think it's time to say GG to this game. Pause the music. Instant death attacks. We'll see. It's the... That would barely... The, the Okay, the only thing that would win is a triple hit instant death attack. If the final boss does not have that, the final boss is not going to win. It's just that simple. We're so overstated, I don't see how we could possibly ever take damage and lose. I should be able to just out-heal everything at this point. Where? Oh, there it is. Yeah, like, even just a single instant death attack is not good enough to beat us at this point. We have too many revive items. And my speed is ridiculously high on one of the characters. And the other characters are also still really high because I think I'm overleveled by quite a bit. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to beat the game before level 50. We're already 49. I'm going to gain XP maybe enough to level. The fact that Hunter's response speed is 246 means I'm always going first. He's at max attack power. I mean, even our other characters are just kind of ridiculous. It's a strong possibility I'll gain one more level. I was gonna say, you know the real thing that'll defeat me? Remembering where this final dungeon is. Where was it? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Let me go from Aldehyde again. Was it just straight south from Aldehyde? Okay, it was. Okay. Well, there we go. We, we beat the only challenge. <laughs> Figuring out where the dungeon is. It's over, chat. Here I come. Well, I should have checked. I'm assuming I restock my ammo, right? I mean, otherwise I'll just bullet clip. We also have a million bullet clips, as a reminder. Oh, yeah, we restocked. It's over. So at this point, I can just afford to use my best weapon until the end of the game. So if they want to do a boss rush, that's fine. Did it seriously undo my invisibility after one screen? Him, please. I mean, I guess I'll just Cosmic Nova, right? Most of them will not get a chance to do anything. And I think with this damage, this should just be a one-shot, yeah. So I can just feed him Magic Carrots and the game is over. The one-shot is real. Why do I have to re-blow this up? I'm confused. We definitely did this before. Okay. I now must remember the dungeon after a long break. We went through here. Huh. The middle doesn't help us. Because I believe that just puts us in the other place. So we open the door. So I needed to go to the right, I think. But up these stairs. That's fair. We have the puzzles all solved. We just need to navigate back to where we were. Okay, so I hit the switch there. So everything seems to have remembered where it was, which is a good sign. Look at us bonking. 
Uh, yeah, the game is over, Try. I literally just need to find the final boss. That's it. Hope you're doing well, Try. I will say, Try, last half of the game, not a fan. <laughs> uh, let's just... Does it even matter at this point? I think it's just over. I mean, we should literally just be in one-shot territory at this point. Yeah, they're just... Every battle we take is out just wasting our time. <laughs> just, there is no possible way they could kill this character. They're never going first. It is GG time. Only played it for like five, six hours. I think the first part of the game was actually really good. I don't think I agree with that statement after about the halfway point. Oh, don't tell me I have to redo this puzzle. Are you really gonna make me redo this? You're really gonna make me redo this puzzle. Joke's on you, I remember the solution from last time. I'm able to do this stupid puzzle again. I'm going in, chat. Listen. <laughs> We're reaching the top of this. Yeah, it, it was very strong in the beginning, but I feel like some of the dungeon design choices were a big question mark, and I think the the boss AI never got better, and that really, really showed on the bonus bosses in this game, where them relying purely on R pure RNG for every attack is miserable. Some battles are so easy because they just do stupid stuff like eight turns in a row, and the other times they just spam their like AOE death stat checker nonsense and you lose. It's not really, it's not really an entertaining difficulty that I enjoyed. So the solution is either to grind, so that way you don't get like hard stat checked, or you just bring scape dolls and void all challenge in the game, <laughs> which is kind of a problem. We're definitely gonna talk about this at the end when we go to review this game, but yeah. Especially going from something where everything is very meticulously planned, like Etrian Odyssey with scaling boss AI. This game really shows how weak it is with boss design. Like, I'll, I'll just give an easy example. So far, not at any point in the game, has any enemy really attempted to stat down us. Bunk, indeed. Like, we have all these abilities, they don't matter. Oh, here we go. Is this a one-shot? Look at him go! He's gonna do 999. This is gonna be broken. Get out of here. Stop wasting our time. <laughs> right, Tap? We are so overpowered, it's, it's almost funny. Just get out of our way. There's nothing they can do to defeat this character. It's over. You're not a boss. GG. Bunk indeed. Oh, please don't make me do this puzzle. Why are you making me... Why do we have to redo the puzzles coming back in here? Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. It's... It, we don't. Not on this one. We had to redo the other one, in my defense. Okay, good. I don't have to do that stupid puzzle again. They sure made it real convenient to go back to where we were before. Please don't make me do this puzzle. Okay, good. Okay, they at least remembered the switch puzzle. Otherwise, I would have to sit there and think about it again. Because I definitely don't remember which order the switch is. I know I started on the right side. I think I went upper right, bottom right, middle. And then I don't remember what I did after that. So we'll save the game, not that I think we're in danger. Okay, now we're in the true final dungeon. Yeah, there's like a core of a really interesting game. It's just that uh, I hope if they, I hope if we play Wild Arms 2, they A, update the boss AI to react a bit more to the player 
and have more things like HP thresholds. Like these are like really basic concepts. Like I'm, like even games like Final Fantasy IV, for example, on SNES to six, they at least reacted a little bit to what you were doing or had like a gimmick that forced you to kind of rethink like a boss battle. At no point, I think in this game, have I had to rethink any boss battle. The, the strategy at this point is literally the same thing over and over, which is kind of unfortunate. If you make the game a little too- oh, why are there two saves? What, what's the point? Why? Alright, so let's try to remember what we were doing. We went through here. I need to use the guitar somewhere. The question is where? Hmm. We're doing this to skip encounters in case Shanna's trying to remember. If I skate along the floor like this, I can't get into a fight. So that was just for a chest. We will eventually find what was the last thing that I did in this dungeon. Okay. So I have a door I haven't opened yet at all, but there's a pipe up there. Okay. Preemptive strike, GG. I chat GG. So now Slash Rave is useful. I did not think Slash Rave was worth using at all, to be honest with you. I don't know if there was something more to manipulate it when we were playing before this point, but uh, I think Calvisham oversold its usefulness. <laughs> it's like, it's only good when we have Shira Star. Otherwise, literally, our other attacks always did more damage. All right, so we can't do anything there. What is doing this do? That's all it does? Okay. Go up here. Bomb this. Uh-huh. So I still... I mean, I'm just gonna step on these. I don't care it has a giant X on it. I'm, I'm gonna walk this way. Like, oh no, we took 14 damage. You got me. Right, chat? You got me. Does he regen health at the start of his turn? I think he does. Wow, that is actually insanely unfair. What does this thing not do? So let me get this straight, chat. He gets 100 to all stats. He gets 1,000 extra health. And he has health regen? How does this character die at this point, chat? Honest question. I w if he gets immunity to insta-kill, I'm gonna lose my mind. Alright, it's so a new place. Fair prize after that dungeon. Kind of. Welcome, Calvisham. We're just talking about how we feel Slash Rave was overrated. It was not worth our time. At any point in the playthrough, actually, other than uh, the end of the game. It just didn't trigger often enough for it to be useful. So, like, luck definitely seems to influence number of strikes. Yeah. It otherwise always did much less than our uh, other attacks. Because if it only swung once to twice, it was always weaker than... What was it called? Uh, Meteor Dive. Always. It was always weaker. I think we used it in, like, eight boss battles at no point. Didn't do anything useful. I guess if we abused the luck mechanic, maybe it would have been a bit more consistent, but... Yeah, this has not been very useful, sadly. Alright, so let's go this way. Are you really gonna make me step on each of these? Is this really happening? Why? I have so many questions. Uh, we'll go bottom left. Dungeon design! Oh, that was such a good choice. Good skate. I 
I mean, does it even matter? They're gonna be worse than ours. Yeah, doesn't matter. Like required, whatever. Yeah, I don't know if you just always happen to get into best luck, but like it literally did nothing almost every playthrough attempt that we did. Even with defense down and hyper, it still did less Calvisham than Meteor Dive. Meteor Dive was just insanely stupid. And we made Meteor Dive 1 MP, so it cost us nothing. <laughs> what a skill. Goodbye, random enemy. So we did level again. Princess Rod acquired. I'm just curious how much worse it is than our current stuff. That is such a... That is so sad. That is so sad how terrible that is. Um... Hopefully this is just the exit. I don't need any more items. Why? Why is this a mechanic? Oh, cute. Okay. <laughs> thanks, thanks, game. Cute. So, I probably would have fallen for that even without the skates. Cute. Alright, we are literally just looking for the boss at this point. Where is the boss? <laughs> We're gonna end this game so fast as soon as we find this boss. Oh, we must be near the boss because it's giving us pity healing. It's like, thou shalt not be able to overcome our bosses. Meanwhile, the party. You know what? I don't even care about my MP so bad. I'm just going to use Resto over Fringing. <laughs> you go to interact with the puzzle and the game is like, you wanted to get into a fight, right? Is that a... I guess it is Cyclops colored. It's going very X-Men on us. So, like, now I'm going to use a Calvisham because it's forced best luck and we have really high stats. And only in this scenario have I found it useful. That actually did not out damage Meteor Dive just then either. Do you see what I mean? So even with the best sword and the best luck, that was not good. It's just, it's just so inconsistent. I don't know. I, I don't know what more than Sheriff Badge it wants from me. Yeah, he is still at best luck. I think Sheriff Badge forces it there. Because that is just not good enough. Disappointing. You know what? I'll just restock his phaser. I don't even care about bull clips at this point. I'm El Duke Ruler of the Sea of Stars. Go to the altar and present my all seeing eye. Present my wings that encompass the heavens. Maldic rule of the stars, go to the altar and present my arms that divide the continents. Was I, was I supposed to be collecting items for this? I really hope not. <laughs> I mean, I, I did open most chests on the way here. Unless my tools are the things that are about to take us through this. Hmm. Because at this point, I'm just thinking, I think there's like one other area I could go. Do I bother doing that or try presenting stuff? Do we have, I'm just trying to think. Let's take a look at our inventory. Are there any random items I've not been using? Not really. Let's arrange our inventory so it's a little cleaner. Yeah, I don't have, like, random held items. We never ended up using Bone or the one Gela coin. Oh well. Where's the Attorney badge when we need it? Pretty much.
Yeah, this is kind of like one of those things. I'm assuming I have to come back with stuff. I, I don't see anything in my inventory that would possibly fit this. Alright, so if we go there... Is there another doorway over here? There is, okay. Okay, and then we got three of these. I guess I'll save. Wild Arms trying to beat me the only way it can. Puzzles. <laughs> That's it, chat. It's, it's all it's got left. What do these do? Uh-huh. 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 So where's the other switch to complete this puzzle? Because I'm assuming I can't do this until I get the other switch. Malduke area 41 mine area is selected. Do you want to activate the transport? Oh. That determines what area I'm going to. Okay, let's undo this one. Let's go left to right. Residential area selected, sure. Let's read the stone tablet. This town is an illusion, everything is a lie. Does that include the thing telling me everything is a lie, so something is real? Is that a monolith? Maybe it's a monolith. There are items here somewhere. So if we listen to the doors, maybe they'll give us hints, but we have to ignore the hints? They're lying to us? Is that what the gimmick is? See any items yet? Oh, there really are random fights here. That is unfortunate. Listen, to those frauds. You just need to perish. Hunter leveled? Man, that's, that's so unfair. There isn't any treasure here. Okay, well, I already know from the radar sounds that something is here. There's a giant grave up there. Is the treasure in the grave area? It is. Okay. Chad, I have an honest question for you. Why? That end end of end of end of question. my random enemies 1500 xp wow well if our characters weren't over level enough i guess i'm good i got what i needed and let oh hold on we'll do one more check yeah okay so there's only one item in the whole town okay <laughs> okay I don't know if I was supposed to guess where it was based off their clues. I just kind of assumed it was the only unique area, so I checked. I I guess that was a puzzle. Question mark. Anyway, let's go to this one.
Tell me the gimmick of this area. The spear of the machine is good. The machine will glow faintly blue. It will lead the righteous. The spear of the machine is evil. The machine will grow bright red. It will lead the evil. Okay. So we have a double color puzzle. Blue, good, red, bad. Circle still binds the thousand year old power of Sado. The awakening of the golem will occur with the arrival of the Maya songs. All right, so the, the, the game wants me to use the guitar to summon the boss. Oh no, there's, oh no, we're in pick a path world? Is this happening? I really hope I went the right way. The blue chest. What? Chat, that was the luckiest guess of directions I have ever had. I literally went left the whole time. What happens if I go right? There's another item. What? I literally, all I did was go left. Uh, you know what, chat? The method works. I guess we're leaving. I don't see why else I would be here. Question mark? Yeah, that seemed really weird. Like, are- are there, like, optional bosses here? Why is this dungeon so huge? Like, now I'm sort of curious? It feels like I could just beat the game. Like, what was the point of the other area here? Is there, like, look out for Sato and I just kind of ignored it? Like, is that what the other path is all about? Hmm. I guess? Well, I see where I have to go. For an op- I'm presuming an optional fight. How do I get there? That's the question. Okay, so, so we could go beat the game. I just wanted to be clear. I might as well just do the optional battle. I swear if you do not let me escape this. Why? <laughs> Why, chat? Why? I'm so overleveled. I have ridiculous stats. Why? Game, please. Wild Arms 2, please fix this. This is insane I can't escape from combat this late in the game. <laughs> just like honestly I'm tired of these fights they can't even do anything to us if invisibility lasted more than real time I would be using it more but pausing the menu and doing that over and over is not really what I want to be doing uh we'll use some carrots I guess that's good enough well I'm glad I got extra carrots so this should pick me back to where I came from before, right? It does. I cannot believe I got that in one try. That is just insane to me. But now I have to actually figure out how to reach the boss. I mean, I guess it's possible if it's a bonus boss, I might, we might lose girl to a random attack, maybe? I don't think Cowboy will ever get one shot at this point. Hunter should not be one shotable ever at this point. Uh huh. I don't know if those are important or not. Like, did. Would all of these have given me what I wanted? I still don't understand how to go over there. Try from this side.
Yeah, see how there's like another set of stairs? In please. So there are a million blue chests. How do I get to that staircase? If I go up the left side, will I be able to go right from there? Is it just that simple? I just need to go on the left side? Again, GG to these enemies. Get out of our way. Okay, if Sheriff Badge also regenerated MP, could you imagine how broken that would be? <laughs> just, just recover everything. It's like the Red Ring equivalency. Yeah, because I'm as far over as I could go here. Okay. What am I missing? Is there something I have to explode or something? I don't see physically how I could reach what I'm seeing over here. Hmm. Oh, you know what it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's one there is one set of staircase I've not used. Is it this simple? Hold on. There's something behind this area, right? So I could go to the right there. So that's that's number 1. I just want to double check. Elder sink. I'm just going to use meteor dive. I I just want to make sure we actually kill this enemy in one shot. And the animation's also faster. And that was proof earlier that Slash Rave either barely out damaged that move or didn't out damage that move from earlier. And that animation was like five seconds faster. Okay, this is new and promising. This might take me to where I need to go. Uh, we're gonna use the tier. Oh no, no, I use the vase. I mean, I do want to cry that we're doing this. Don't get me wrong. Um, Just in case he decides to be one-shot McGee, I guess I'll do this. Let's play the guitar, aka the thing that angers the gods. I'm not going to bother stealing. You know what, chat? If he has an item, I'm never going to find out. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Tired of stealing being, like, basically useless. Let me go for wide open here and see what happens. Two, three. That's not good enough. Okay, right, how much damage is this? He absorbs damage? Are you kidding me? Is it even possible for him to lose? What a broken character. So if he does that again, the party dies, but you know, I don't know if that matters for him. What, what if I just do Meteor Dive in comparison, out of curiosity? We'll do Resta. Yeah, see that? It out damaged it again. Wow, that is insanely broken, chat. Can we all agree? Like, it's just, like, actually unfair. Anyway, I'm just gonna use Meteor Dive for the rest of the battle, because I'm tired of the other ability not doing damage. I think we gave it an honest and fair shot to be useful, and it just, it still isn't. It's still not consistent enough for me to want to use it. Uh, let's tell him to wait five years. That did no damage. Yeah, like if Phaser is out damaging your character with Sheriff Badge, that is a kind of a problem. Alright, so let's do Fury Shot with Arc Smash. We use Sonic Vision just for free damage. Then I want to do Yogi Angie on him. Maybe I'll be able to out damage him with Slash Rave. Maybe. There we go. But I'm feeling this boss is not very is not long for this world, given how much damage we're doing. Okay. 
I swear, if he just does the double strike here, I'm gonna be so mad. Do phaser. One last attempt to use this. It is in the most optimal of scenarios possible at this point. We we'll use Rusta. You better swing more than twice. Wow. 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 Screw that ability, chat. Screw that ability. <laughs> Game, please. I, I don't want to use luck-based abilities. They don't work for me. I'm so done with it. Anyway, back to Sonic Vision. Um, I don't know if he's able to take damage from us, sadly. Yeah, that was a big oof. I don't think it even matters, but I, I'm just going to defend. I don't care what this character does. This should do near max damage. Yeah. Anyway, boss dead. There we go, chat. If, if people wonder why I don't like Slash Rave, I hope that was an excellent example. Go back and clip how sad that damage was compared to literally every other move we had in the most optimal of scenarios. It whiffed super hard. So I guess we're getting our best armors. I'm guessing what's happening here. Look at that magic resistance. Oh my gosh, chat. I don't even- I don't think it's possible to lose anymore. <laughs> Cowboy now has girls' magic resistance and more defense. Actually busted. Anyway, this should just be an absolute stomp. I don't even know why the game is going to try to challenge us at this point. Take that, optional boss. I mean, if the boss just did the AoE attack twice in a row, I would have I would have lost characters. And that's what I'm kind of talking about. It's just like... AoE betrayed at that time. Do we have the best armor for all the characters? I'm trying to remember. I think the girl has hers. I guess we're just missing hunters. Actually, is there a save here? I'm gonna save in case something dumb happens. Girl is probably the only character that could die on our party currently. I think everybody else is now effectively immortal. Hellboy's only weakness of magic damage is completely gone now. And he's even tankier than before. On Luke's three areas are regulated by three holy keys, the eye, the wings, and the arms. Holy keys will guide the holder to the central control. Okay. Wait, seriously? I can't put a bomb. Why? What's this? Do not retreat. Retreat means decay. The golem Lucifer sleeps here. It has not lost any of its powers. Only a foe does not know the true power of a golem would challenge Lucifer and Sado. Um. I just play a guitar here or something? Oh. Hmm. I don't seem to be able to do anything. Weird. Oh! Oh, come on! Chat- Oh, we're doing this? Is this really happening? I was so happy this game didn't do this. This is breaking all my least favorite design principles. Or, 
it's doing them, but it's breaking breaking my hopes and dreams that we don't have annoying hidden passageways in dungeons that are we arbitrarily as the player cannot see. Really don't like that as a mechanic. It's one thing if you have like a tool to reveal it, and that's fine. Like you could do it without it kind of things, but like really. Just really don't like that in video games. Uh, let's use the guitar, I guess. Well, time to kill Lucifer. So goodbye other golems that we don't have to fight at all. Oh, you're huge. Uh, let's not bother with Slash Rave anymore. It's Meteor Dive time. We're gonna do... Probably a... Probably need to lower response time so the party doesn't die. I mean, I, I don't think Hunter can die at this point, but the other party members probably can. Tell them to wait five years. It did decent damage, but nothing too crazy. Please lower his speed. Jack, can we all have a moment where we just roll our eyes? <laughs> did did you like that not not effectiveness there? Come on, game. Please lower his speed so I can rest it without dying. Otherwise, this battle will be winnable. It'll just be very slow. Thank you. I'm gonna Resta and then I'm gonna Dogi. I'm gonna wide open him after this, actually. So we're putting in consistent damage at least. I'm not even sure if I wanna bother healing him, to be honest. I think let's tell me he's wide open. I mean, he healed 500 health. He's probably fine, right, chat? Oh, of course it failed. Beam Fencer. Oh! That actually did a lot of damage. That's kind of annoying. I'm so Wait, why did it do more to him than the other characters? Darn you random damage. You don't make any sense of this game, I swear. Alright, so now we now it's gonna alternate, I think, its abilities. So let's use full revive here. And then make sure she rests this here. So I'm assuming it's just picking one party member at a time and then it AoEs, which is a fair pattern. It's not really complicated, but that's fair. Alright, so I'm at full health now. Oh, he just did a normal strike there. Just not to that thing's benefit. Alright, so let's just use another Fury Shot. I feel like the boss is almost dead. So, I'm gonna dual cast. We're gonna do Wide Open and Doki Angi, and this should be over. The boss might not even live for it, honestly. We've gotten double Fury Shot in. I'm not sure how much HP it has. But well, we did do a lot consistently, so I think we're a little above 30,000 damage now. Please lower his defense. Thank you. Meteor dive. Resta? This might be over here. Well, anyway, that was a bonus boss. I, I I guess he got me. He ran he randomly did 600 more to Hunter, our tankiest party member, compared to the other party members. I guess I should just assume damage doesn't make sense in this game. <laughs> right, Janet? Just doesn't have to make any sense. Oh, there we go. Now his magic resistance is fixed. 
I mean, maybe that counted as a magic attack? That's the only thing I could think of, of why that did more to him than the other characters. Because I don't think he had lower defense than the others. Yeah, she's barely at 300. He would have also been at 300, and she didn't take as much damage. Or else she also would have been one shot. Random damage. Anyway. Well, I guess that's all the bonus boss is dead. Stupid hidden passageway. Uh, that didn't really tell us how to solve the puzzle here, though. I don't even think I want the red chest at all. Okay, so we're gonna come down, we're gonna take the stone, flip it. What does that do for us? Uh huh. Oh. Can I not go on the left or right of them? It looks like I should have been able to. Alright, so now I can bomb this to go back up. So in a, in a way we can make progress here. So I still need to be able to go through there. Oh. Actually, that would lead to progress. So if I go... If I go up, down, and then left, I can open up a new passageway. We have to strike against Dello Bunny. Perish. Tell the bunny it's time to die, chat. Lucky card acquired? Oh man, these things drop lucky cards? Roll, Roll your eyes, chat. It's over. Oh, game, please. Oh, never mind. I thought that door was open. My bad. Um, then I can't do anything from here. Is there anything else that opens up other than me doing that? Because I can't reach that. I can't go through there. And hit that. So was all that just to go one rotation, just to go down the ladder once? Is, is that what the puzzle is? I now have to go hit the switch again. Wild Arms won! It's fun going in circles. I think that's what I had to do. And now I should be able to advance the dungeon. And then I probably have to flip it one more time after that. Because I'm assuming at some point the switches will move the statues and the statues will then lead to progress. So now I could do this, which I couldn't do before. That opens this switch. How do I get to the other one? Can I do anything with it now? I think I can, right? Yeah, okay. So this never closed. So there we go, chat. Three round trips. Ose. More like goner. Get out of here. You're not surviving this. You know what? At this at this point. I don't know. I don't know what the final boss would even do to us. <laughs> If those were the optional bonus bosses, like, that's not good for them. So anyway, sadly, I now have to go around again. Definitely not a big waste of time, Chad. I don't know what you're talking about. Clearly, this is a very simple, straightforward passageway in order to hit a single switch just to go back to the same room again. I definitely appreciate these in puzzles, Chad. I love multi-screen puzzles that don't need to be multi-screen. Hmm. So we're gonna go up here. I mean, I guess it had at least the courtesy that the final thing I need to hit will also be the exit, I guess. Also, that was an unfortunate skate. Okay. So now we can get through here. I'm gonna say chat, it's between nuts and PSO at this point. I want these guys to perish. Thank you. I mean I could wild card if I really want to, but let's let's be honest, chat. I don't think it matters. 
Uh, so I'm going to come back over here again for like the third time. This time we're going to be able to progress. Hmm. I don't know how you get those red chests. There's nothing it could give me that would interest me. I have the best weapons possible. I th oh, oops, I didn't mean to skate again there. I have the best weapons possible. I have the best armor possible. The only thing it'd really give me is healing items, which I don't care about. Money, don't care about. Stat ups, maybe there's a consumable for it. Doesn't matter. We're leaving those chests where they are. Uh, fine, we'll just kill this thing. I have enough magic carrots in order to just keep maxing his MP. So no regrets there. I regret, I guess, not using bullet clip a little more in this playthrough, but I'm really happy we have magic carrots if we got some from battles. Yeah, look at that. We had like 25 or so. We used eight so far in the dungeon. We were very careful in the bonus dungeon. I probably could have been a bit more aggressive there just to burn them up. So we're going to go to what is presumably the final boss of the game. Here we go, chat. Are you gonna force me to do them manually? Okay. I'm assuming we're immediately gonna fight a boss. There could be one more boss between us and the final boss. Nothing happens, this is a joke. Okay, what? Wait, what? What? Are, wait, what? Is there a fake eye? What? <laughs> Please don't make me go back in there. Why? Um, are you serious? Wow, Chad, I'm so pissed off right now. I was worried about that with all those open chests. Is just one of them arbitrarily real? Do I have to use like radar on it to detect if it's real? Because I picked it up before that point. Oh, I love time wasters, chat. I love them so much. They add so much to the gameplay and I appreciate them. They definitely are not padding and I definitely don't really dislike them as a concept. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Wow. So not lucky, I guess. So I presumably have to just put it back in the room I got it from. And now we have to re-explore every single one of those chests. Stupid. I'm assuming that's what the radar does, even though for the most part, it's not really been mandatory for anything. Wow. 
Alright, so if I... So if I do this... But how do I know? <laughs> what is this? Was there a hint as to which one I'm supposed to take? I am not picking up every one of these boxes and walking all the way back there. I'm not I doing this. I, I refuse. Uh, we're gonna look one more time. Was there a hint in that one stone pedestal? I swear, Chad, if this is not an immediate hit, I don't care that I'm cheating on this. I refuse to go to each of these one at a time if that also triggered the radar. Because I don't know how else you would tell if it's real. I had one idea for it. Doesn't work. Not doing it. No thank you. Like, does it have a different description? But even then, you wouldn't be able to tell because you would have to pick it up and then go to each of them and then come back anyway. There's... There's not a world in which this works, unless we have a tool that identifies it somehow. Truly wildly fantastic. It's putting the wild back in wild arms. I feel like I'm in Tales of Fantasia. What happened? We were doing so well, chat. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, my bad. I feel like we're in Tales of Fantasia. It's not a good sign, chat. Where the game just purposely disrespected you and your time. It's what I kind of thought of. Hey, okay, girl is leveled at least. Just like an actual awe of how terrible that is. Oh, you know what it wants us to do, chat? We never... You know what? You know what? I just remembered. I think it wants us to go back to Sato to color check which treasure is real. Remember how it said the red light, blue light nonsense? I'm so disgusted right now. I'm so disgusted. We never interacted with that. We'll reread it, right? So we'd have to take... So we'd still have to take it really far, from my understanding, because it has to go to Sato every single time. So the game wants me to go to the treasure chest and come back to the middle over and over and over and over again until I get the right one. Truly disgusting. <laughs> I feel nauseous, chat, at how bad it is. Um. Jeez. I'm really contemplating looking this up. I really don't want to go to Sato every single time. I'm sorry. I have to traverse like five, six rooms just to check it once. That is so stupid. Like, I now recognize what it wants me to do, and I'm like, I, I object. So, any one of these could in theory be real. Screw this chat, I'm looking this up. I. <laughs> I feel like it would take me less time to look this up, and this just feels like an absolute waste of time. Which one is it? Just tell me. I don't care at this point about spoilers. I just want this over. I hate this dungeon. It's not even challenging in, like, an interesting way. It's just really just a big waste of time. <sighs> ba -ba 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 ba 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 Alright. Let's, let's go back to the beginning of this area. So as I said before, I think you're supposed to go to where Sato is each time. And I'm not going to go do that. I don't want to. So let's go all the way back to the beginning so I don't get confused as to any directions that it will take me to the right one. So that would be the dumbest way to lose time. So let's just go all the way here. Oh, 
Okay. So from this room... Driving me wild with this. <laughs> Chad, I want this dungeon over. This dungeon has overstayed its welcome. I would like this dungeon to end, please. Okay, so from the top room, we go south. Then from this room, we go... Oh, we go all right. Oh, man, it was the exact opposite of what I did earlier. That's brutal. That is brutal. So I take the right staircase. Then I take the right staircase again. So we did have to go a slightly different direction here. Then I gotta go right again. Chat, do you see how many... Like, could you imagine... If I went left to right, how long that would take us? I'm so glad I looked this up. This is so stupid. Go south and take the left of the two. Disgusting. This is apparently the real one. Disgusting. Anyway, chat. I don't feel bad about that at all. I Like, do you see how many flights of stairs I have to go up just to check the item? It's not like I can just immediately compare it and then move on kind of things. Like, that is a, like, potentially five to six screen journey every single item box and there were like seven of them in there and that would have taken me at least five more attempts so you're welcome chat i'm skipping that i have deemed that not worthy of stream time do please do better wild arms see i think we're supposed to use it near sato and i have no interest in doing so let's leave I'm shaking my head, chat. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, again, it's one thing if it's like you had an item in your inventory and you're like, okay, that's not the right one, and we go to the next one. Where it's like, oh, you know, like... I, I don't know. Just, just not that. Or, like, you could read the description. Like, can you imagine if you read the description of the letters were a little off? That would have been kind of funny, right? You're like, oh, okay, they purposely spelled it wrong, kind of things, you know. But not that. That, that would have been a nice way to figure out it's fake. Or like, the eyes are closed and one of the eyes is open and you're looking for the one with the open eye. Like, there's so many better ways they could have done that same puzzle, like honestly, that don't involve you going to one specific room over and over again. It just like, that's just off the cuff. Stupid. What a stupid puzzle. Well, you can, you can guarantee that's going in the review. I am not- oh, I immediately went down the stairs. Yeah, like it's the wrong color. Like imagine if it was orange, for example, or each of them had a defect in it. Like that would have been interesting, right? Much better than just walk by some arbitrary side of the robot thing that we killed, and then it'll tell you what color it glows. Stupid. Not backtracking like three, at minimum three rooms to go there every time. Stupid. Doomsday. I don't think I really care about you. I think you're just doomed, period. You know what? If it's somehow Chris's turn, we're gonna use Chris on this enemy. Oh, we didn't kill it instantly. Maybe we'll actually fight this for a little bit? Let's see. Will the Chris spell do damage, or is he immune? Oh, it did decent damage. Graviton. I'm assuming it just halved my HP. No, it didn't actually. Oh. Why do you do more damage than bosses do? Wait a minute. Why are you so damaging? Are you like a hidden mini boss? Why did that do so much? I got drop kicked. Use phaser again. Use meteor dive. I mean, I'm just gonna try to burst this enemy. I don't want this enemy here anymore. 
Big damage. Like, we have our strong... If we fought this without... Without endgame gear, this fight would probably be ultra miserable. Like, look how little damage we're doing to it. Alright, that's it. Fury shot, arc smash. Meteor dive. We're we'll using Chris again. We're going all DPS. Just perish. <laughs> you know it's serious when I'm fury shotting in a normal fight here. Get off our screen. All that for only 10,000 XP? That's it? I don't know, chat. I don't know about that. So yeah, so far, really, really not liking their decisions for uh, the bonus dungeon and the final dungeon. Like, they are exceptionally not fun dungeons. No. No! 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 Wild Arms! No! No! You didn't have to bring this back! No! No! I hate this! I hate stealth section so much! Ugh. This final dungeon chat. <laughs> Just like, why? <laughs> We're so close to the end. Why do we have to do this? <laughs> do I have to get caught by it or something? <laughs> I just like, I, I hate this so much. I hate it, Chad. I absolutely hate this. I'm gonna skate. Hopefully we dodge it. Oh, we don't have a choice. Okay, we're forced to do this. That's somewhat fair, I guess. I still hate it, though. So we're fighting Burial with his weird little wooden wheels. Oh, I didn't restore my bullets. I don't think this will matter, actually. So we'll go for... I'm just like... I'm just so... I'm so done with the gimmicks. Can we stop, please? I'm so done, chat. We have to be really close to the end of the game. Like, what else? We've killed all the generals. We've killed all the golems. We're gonna we're gonna bullet clip up, and then this fight will be over. It's taking a lot of damage, so this fight should be pretty fast. Phaser shot, meteor dive. Let's do Dogi Angi, I think. Like, please just let me get to the end. No more gimmicks. No more gimmicks. We've killed two bosses. We've killed this thing. Genocide Flare, how much damage are you doing? That might kill Cowboy. Or, no. Oh, that's how much damage they do to us now. Oh, that's sad. I mean, do I even bother resting? I think he might actually be dead here, to be honest with you. That did a lot of damage. Oh, not quite dead. I mean, I guess I'll wide open. I don't think it'll last that much longer. You only did 600 to girl, GG. Well, anyway, this, this thing is ultra dead, chat. You know what? I'm going to disrespect it by choosing not to heal. I'm going to use Chris. That's how over I'm convinced this fight is. We're gonna do two 999s essentially. This should be GG. Yeah, it's over. Get me out of this dungeon. It's it's been so long. Think about it, Chad. You had to go through that whole initial tower with all the puzzles. Then we went to three other areas. Then we went through the pipe maze, and we're still going. This better be the end. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, chat. I'm so ready to be done. 
Enough with the random encounters, please. Oh, let's actually restock here. This might matter for the final battle. So we're going to... All right, we're going to make sure we magic carrots. So everybody's at full. We have 15 left. We're going to use our bullet clips, which we have 11 of. I guess we did acquire some from random battles, I guess, to be fair. Okay. Oops. I didn't bunk like I wanted to. Let's do this. I think Central Cold, do you want to enter? Yes. Uh huh. I guess we just go to the end. We. There we go, chat. You are too. Oh, excuse me. You're late. Or should I say, too late? Look at the little planet down there. That's your field Gaia. Watch as it shatters into oblivion. No, you can't do that. Malduk is in your ordinary colony. It has ground assault capabilities. A thousand year old human city in the sky. Now it's mine to do as I choose. Burn, burn to the ground. Your power does not discriminate. All power is destined to destroy. Well, Gaia's our home. We won't allow this. Um... Do I even bother stat downing him or just go raw aggression? I think I just go raw aggression, honestly. Let him go first. Oh, you cast face tank on yourself? Oh, that's rude. Good thing I didn't uh, defense down because it probably would have whiffed. We're still doing a lot of damage to him. Use phaser. Meteor dive. I guess I'll wide open him. Okay. Wow, he only did 700 damage, chat. This is GG. If he doesn't have a phase two, it's over. I'm not bothering. Good. Dude, I dare you to rebuff yourself. It's already over. You know what? I'm even going to use Chris on you. Let the disrespect occur. Negative rainbow. Well, I'm going to use positive rainbow. That's just going to heal Hunter, right? Oh, it actually hit Hunter. Congratulations. I'm still not going to heal. There we go. If you use negative rainbow, we use positive rainbow. There we go. Uh, I'm pretty sure this turn will be GG. What do you think, chat? Just all this raw damage coming in. I think it's over. This should just do 999. Oh, not quite. I cannot fall yet. I have to stay myself. I cannot control. It's too early for this. I will not give up my body. Well, anyway, he just got wrecked. 16666XV received. Is there a phase two? Destruction will not bring our future, Siegfried. You lose. Lose? Fool! You haven't got a clue. Destruction is just the beginning. Is that right, Siegfried? The power of absolute darkness. The eternal nothingness will devour Filgaia with teeth of fire. You cannot avoid death. Watch as your planet's last flame of life goes out. Okay. Stop! Please, stop it now! What do you want with a world where nothing exists? What benefit is there suffering like this? Ugh. Ugh. 
Uh, cry out, repent. Your defeat gives me such a warm feeling inside. It feels so good. Now, the pure extinction of life begins. This is your final lesson, humans. All will come to a sudden halt, like a machine turned off. There is nothing beyond the end of life. Oh, there we go. It... it can't be. This force is the same as Mother. Mother Freed? There you go. I am Mother Freed. I have become one with my beloved child. I have returned, reborn of my own flesh. It's like a caterpillar thing? Is that what I'm looking at? Siegfried was... had been engulfed like a baby being cradled by a mother. Wow, this is getting out of hand. That thing grew up inside Siegfried and basically consumed him to become the thing that we're fighting now. I am the ultimate beauty, the rejoining of a mother and her child. Satisfy me with the with your last dance of agony. Why do they like using that term? I think we've had this conversation before. Is that a thing in Japan for people just to shout the phrase satisfy me? This is not like the first time I have seen it, and it has come up too often for it to not be a thing. Anyway, I guess time to go beat the final boss. So I'm still injured from before. I don't know how much this matters though. I guess I could just safety rest, well, let's do Giangi. If she single targets, this doesn't matter. It didn't do a lot of damage. Let's see, ooh, that missed. Unfortunate. Indeed. Let's see for its galaxy. So that didn't do a lot of damage. And she goes slower than us, which is kind of sad. Oh, I hit Wild Bunch instead of Arc Smash. That would explain it. Let's miss input. I guess I'll rest it once. I still don't think she could beat Hunter. Unless she insta-kills at this point. I think he heals too much and he's too tanky. Yeah, Chan, I think this is just officially GG. Uh... Did you do a fire attack on me? That's kind of a terrible camera angle. Uh, just wide open. I'm not even a heal. We're going in, chat. With him doing double damage, this should be over in probably four turns or less. Let's see if we can increase his damage more. Alls Magna. So she caused status ailments. Bad news for her. She didn't cause the right one on Cowboy. Really bad news for her. Oh, can I do double Meteor? Oh, that would be so sick. Oh, she's done. Oh, Chad, here it comes. She's about to get dunked this turn. Look at the damage. Oh, did she? Oh, did she? De oh, maybe she de-statused us. We did less than expected. I thought we were going to do 6k per. This will still do a lot of damage, though. I was expecting to do 888 across the board. She still might be dead here, though. Yeah, GG. Even if my flesh is destroyed, I will always have a home at the end of time. Bill Gaia will not be able to escape the darkness that is upon it. Nothing can stop the end from arriving. She got wrecked, chat. 20,000 experience received, cowboy leveled. Wait, we got XP? Wait, there's another battle after this? Uh, okay. I would have thought that would have been the final battle. She felt like the real villain thing, but there's still more, apparently. All that we've accomplished was for nothing. It's all come to an end? That is the sound effect choice. I don't think so. I feel the power. Maybe. 
I'm not gonna let this happen. No way, we must do something about this. I can see so clearly now. I can feel the life energy from the teardrop. The teardrop is responding to the power of protection. The power of the guardians. We fight because we have something worth protecting. That is why we believe in miracles. Uh huh. The bright light of the teardrop. Did the spirit of a thousand years past come back to life? I apologize for the sound effect. This is a terrible choice. Their voice is in my heart again. Has the power of the guardians been restored? The teardrop is glowing, just as it did in the days when Philgaia was still rich and fertile land. The power to behold, oh the power. All the guardians have gathered together into a shaman child. We shall rid this planet of darkness once and for all. The teardrop says, give us the power once more. Please let that sound effect end. That is atrocious. Who approved the sound effect for this fight? The darkness has faded. This is the power of the Guardians and the Teardrop. This is the absolute power. We are the protectors of Philgaia and the Teardrop. Behold, you humans have experienced the wounds. Of I really can barely concentrate on the dialogue with the sound effect. You humans have experienced the wounds of our land and the hearts of its people. Somehow you found faith again and have created a better future for Philgaia and yourselves. Take time, but as long as people care enough for the planet, the flow of decay could be reversed. Period of the heart makes the impossible possible. Humans are the real guardians of Philgaia. You hold the key to Philgaia's future. Humans are the guardians of Philgaia? Not all humans have the light in their heart, but we sense that it will not be long before everyone does. Please let the sound effect end. This is atrocious. Thank you. Holy. I apologize for that. That sound effect was so bad. It would take a miracle indeed to accomplish that. This isn't the end, but a new beginning. Cowboy, Hunter, let's go back to Phil Gaia. Hmm. It's not over yet. I don't trust the game here. <laughs> right, Chad? I'm like, no. I don't like that it just gave me back control, Chad. We're just gonna go ahead and restock real quick. Uh huh. Oh, this was a door. I wasn't sure the first time I was here. So I think if we had not beaten the game, we could have gone back to the beginning if we wanted to. Hmm. There we go. I'm not falling for your trick, Wild Arms. Zeke to voice says, Don't think you're getting off that easy. We're not done yet. That voice? Is that Siegfried? Didn't, didn't he get eaten by mother and absorbed within her? I ditched mother and returned from hell. I'm Zeke Tavoy, the Revenge Blade. Of course, chat. In this artificial place between the land and the sky, your destiny will end here. You could die by my blade or be crushed between the dimensions. The choice is yours. Nice try, game. Didn't fall for it. If it didn't give me back control, I might have fallen for it. I don't believe you, though, game. See how much damage we do. Eh, not that much. It's so easy to escape hell in this game. I think so. Oh, that could be actually really annoying for us. Girl fell asleep, which is unfortunate. I guess I could choose to wake her up. In case I do actually need her for something. Um. Wait, do I not have something that cures sleep? Wait, do I really not? Okay, well, that sucks. <laughs> I looked through my items, I'm like, I actually don't have anything. Only she has a spell that does it, and, uh... Alright, well, let's hope I don't need healing at any point. 
Proton Beam. Did some big damage. I guess I should heal up. Alright, chat. Thanks. Question mark. I'll probably just use the real elixir on myself in a moment. Don't hit Hunter. If you kill her, that's actually for the best. That is actually for the best, because I'm going to deal with this. Or I could maybe burst the boss. You know what, chat? We're just going to try to burst the boss. Screw this. I don't think I'm going to bother reviving her. Let girls sleep. <laughs> We're doing good damage. Although, then our damage went down again. Does Doki angry only last for a single attack or something? No, no, no. Milk turd. Oh, you're gonna heal yourself for 999 or something? What a jerk. Alright, well, if he's gonna do that, I might as well as revive then. Sure, we'll do slash rave because it's funny. Oh, there we go. Might do some damage this time. If he isn't if he wasn't going to spam heal, I was just gonna beat the boss as is. Wow. Yeah, we need to defense down him. This is stupid. <laughs> I think we could agree, chat. Wow. Getting actually hard stalled by this game. Um, let's go for just a normal slash rave here, and then what I want to do is wide open him. If he becomes wide open, I'm using that double attack. Okay, that did less damage than we need. There we go. I don't know if Hunter's immune to sleep. Maybe Hunter is immune to sleep. Oh no, I hit normal attack there. Oh, that sucks. That's not what I wanted. Wow, that did little damage. Why does it feel like he... Why does it feel like he's doing less damage every turn? What's happening? In please. Anyway, back to this. Well, at least we condition greened out of that. That's useful. I guess Dogi Angry only lasts for a short time. I don't know how else to explain why our overall damage dropped other than it literally only lasts a turn. Which I guess is good to know in the future that it doesn't last very long. So I'm kind of disappointed on that, honestly. Because think about it, we Meteor die for like 7k and then after that we only did 3k. So the the defense down lasts on them forever, but the attack buff only lasts for like a turn. That's pretty bad. I think we could agree, Chad. I don't think I realized it did that because we usually just kill the boss so quickly. Anyway, speaking of kill the boss quickly. Look, I've given you so much damage at this unstable artificial state space. Did you? I think I'm basically at full health. As I said before, Battle in artificial space is very risky. Our previous battle was nothing compared to this. We will all be blown away. <laughs> no one can beat me. Someone who is destined to rule cannot lose. Yeah. I'm assuming this is now officially the end of the game. Just wait for Martha to come back to you, pretty much. Just the priest about taking Sol and Codingle. I wasn't expecting auto advance scenario like Earth Golem, what I haven't asked for. Anti-facing shield, will it work? The tower can't hold the pressure any longer. The only thing left is to bleed in the anti-facing shield. Again, I wasn't expecting the auto advancing dialogue, caught me by surprise.
Wow, that's now that's a defensive mechanism. Princess, have the Earth Golem keep the shield up until the explosion dies. No, I, I didn't do anything. He's doing it on his own as if he has his own will. Please stop, Earth Golem. Stop, you're gonna die. Wow, this is so fast. Thank you, Earth Golem. Continue on my heart. You're more than just a fighting machine. You have to read that fast. What is this, like, sweet it in credit speed? What is this? Well, Rip Golem, I guess. That was a sudden development, as sudden as that text was. Rip Golem. We're standing in front of it like the Statue of Liberty in Planet of the Apes. Hi, Earth Golem. Are you asleep? Oh, now you go slower? You sure did well. Why is this dialogue so much slower than the other one? I want to stay here with you as long as I can, but... There are a lot of things left for me to do in Phil Gaia. The next time you wake up, I promise you'll see a peaceful Phil Gaia. You'll be surrounded by joyous people and nature. Until that day comes, good night, Earth Golem. Good night. Dot, dot, dot. Let's see what happens. I'm afraid to take a drink even though I'm thirsty. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Welcome to all the places we've been. Chilled out to hide last. I don't know if that matters. Sometimes I can't believe we're traveling like this. That we survived that huge explosion. I felt like I woke up and it was morning. You and the princess were preparing for the journey. That's not like you. You still don't believe in reality? Oh, I just remembered. The princess gave me a letter. She said I shouldn't read it until we left the castle. Hey, Hanpan, why don't you read it now? Me? Yes, it's your job. Hunter's illiterate confirmed. Pretty much. I wonder where everyone will be when you read this letter. I wonder if it will be sunny or if it'll be raining. Maybe it's because I experienced a painful battle, but I feel very comfortable in this ordinary life. Because of the protection from Earth Golem, we're able to return to Philgaia again. However, the Earth Golem has returned to its slumber. He will never wake up again. <laughs> wow. He doesn't have to be a fighting machine anymore. Wow, Chad. So much for giving you hope. Nope. Robot dead. Good night, Earth Golem. When you sleep peacefully, the world is full of tender light and peace. This is how it should be. But to tell the truth, I am very lonely. You're the only good character, why? I was shocked when I heard the two of you were leaving. 
I thought we would always be together. I'll never forget the days when the weight of Vilgaia was on our shoulders. If it weren't for you guys, I would have been crushed under the burden. I was able to overcome the painful journey because of you. You lent a hand to such a lonely heart. Because of that, I developed the selfish thought of the three of us always being together. Ooh, them laughing looks really creepy in 3D. I don't know how I feel about that. That's, uh, hmm. I think it would have been better not to have seen that. like the variation of the theme we're hearing here for the ending. Well, guy is not free of all monsters. People still need my sword. That is why I must go on. Hunter, I never thought you would say such things. Oh, wait, I got confused who was talking. You must have something new within yourself. Guess I wasn't the only one whose life has changed. This is a very long letter, I'm just saying. You two have departed on a journey because you chose to follow the new desires in your heart. Dramatic hair in the wind. I too have decided to follow the new desires in my heart. I too have made a multi-page letter. The Princess of Aldehyde shouldn't live like this, but it's my decision as an ordinary human being. I will no longer force myself to be the perfect princess. From now on, I will be an ordinary 17-year-old girl. I'll think hard and be honest to myself. you want to be cared by someone, you must care for someone else first. You, cowboy, taught me this lesson. I can't stand watching Phil Gaia deteriorate. I must do something. I want to protect what I care for. This is my new desire. <laughs> I like to think she just sent them a book. It's like not a letter. It's like it's just an actual book. <laughs> Today, the west wind blew through Aldehyde again. A wind which promises prosperity. 
Am I missing something? Is this still the letter or did I miss a scene while like taking a drink? Pray this wind takes my desires beyond the horizon. Oh, it is still the letter. P.S. The two of you should be receiving something that you forgot from Aldehyde soon. Don't be lazy. Make sure you take it. That was a long letter, Chad. I'm just like to state. <laughs> Maybe she wrote in really small font there. So, the princess is also starting on her own new journey. Where? It doesn't matter. As long as she's doing it of her own free will. I'm sure she'll turn out to hide into a good kingdom. She used to hate royalty so much? Well, the life of royalty is very complicated. Right, cowboy? Oh, yeah. Let her mention something we forgot. Cowboy. Must have been you. What did you forget, you careless kid? He's not like you, Hunter. I wonder what it is. This is too much. You deal with it. I told you he'd be lazy. What? What are you doing here? Am I not supposed to be here? I'm delivering to you the item you forgot. And what is that? Haven't you figured it out yet? So, where are we going? Wait a minute. <laughs> this is a jail chat. You said you found what you wanted to do in your letter. What's going to happen to Aldehyde? We... You're right, Hunter. Wow, we abandoned it just like a Suikoden character. I have to do something to save my precious Filgaia from deteriorating. Minister Johan will take care of Aldehyde in my absence. Don't worry. Decided to live true to the desires of my heart. <laughs> we just say screw the kingdom, right, chat? We just happen to be on the same path today. Just happen to be today? Are you sure about this? Yes, it's a coincidence. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Damn, she's hardcore stalking them now. I guarantee it. Right, cowboy? Hey, don't leave us here. I will say, for an RPG, this has a very long post-game scene. I think of all the games we've played so far, this is taking it by far. Look, this is the land we've been protecting. It wasn't only us. Normally we get kind of like a montage, and then it's about over. There was Professor Emma, Jane... Oh, don't mention Dane. McDolan, the Captain, and Mario. Every single desire that lives on Filgaia, and... It's probably best to just never bring up Jane again, to be honest. Uh, this is looking promising. Maybe we will hit the credits now. We're panning upwards. We're looking up to the sky. And then BAM! Demons attack. <laughs> right, Jack? Can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine the game is like, Psych! Here's the real boss. <laughs> oh no, the birds are flying, chat. Oh, don't look at the sun. That's not good for your eyes. Now they've gone blind. We're witnessing what they see. End. End chat. Oh. I hit confirm. It did skip the scene. There we go. Credit time. I recognize some of those fights. Like Zed was in there. There you go. We're getting the full anime now, chat. That's how you know it's over.
There we go, chat. Credit time. Music finale. There you go, chat. End credit movie editor. Chant. That is the end of Wild Arms. It boots us here. Do we get anything new for beating the game? Probably not. I might as well check though. So it didn't save over a save file at the end, so I'm assuming there's no new game plus. Yeah, I don't see anything new there. Okay. So I guess we'll we'll chat a little bit. So how do we feel the session went overall? Man, I hated the final dungeon. <laughs> I hate everything it stands for. I hate the dungeon leading into the final dungeon. I really, really, really disliked the very long and unnecessary security system of the first time we went to the dome. Or the Aether Sphere, whatever they called it. I'm confusing it t slightly with Tales of Destiny, but you know what I mean. It's just one of those things where it was just like, man, it really overstayed its welcome, to be honest. But I'll gather some thoughts. We're going to have some final thoughts. We're going to put on the soundtrack in a few minutes. But I think from the standpoint of YouTube, I don't really have anything to say. The ending was underwhelming i mean like the cutscene itself was fine like the end sequence was fine but like the the whole final dungeon and final bosses were so easy because we did the bonus bosses that we didn't really get that close to dying at any point even with going carelessly into it it didn't matter so kind of unfortunate that it ended like that in terms of difficulty since i think the game was doing pretty well up until the introduction of the bonus bosses and then the game kind of broke. It's a little bit unfortunate there.
But anyway, uh, that's all for this part. So stick around for a little bit, and we'll talk about, I guess, the game a little more in totality. But from the standpoint of this point in the video slash VOD, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you just, if you did watch at this point, uh, hope to see you again in the final thoughts.